Good morning, little sprouts. I'm so excited to share another amazing Bible story with you today. In October, we're learning all about being God's custom creations and how he created us to make a difference. Today, I get to tell you about a man named Matthew. His story comes straight from his very own book of the Bible, Matthew. Matthew lived in a town called Capernaum. Everyone there knew who he was, but not very many people liked him. You see, Matthew had chosen a job working for the Roman government. He was really, really good at his job, which meant he was not a very good friend. Matthew was a tax collector. Tax collectors would lie about how much money people owed the government, and then they would keep that extra for themselves. One day, everything changed for Matthew. He heard Jesus was in town. He had heard all the amazing stories of how Jesus had changed so many people's lives. Matthew wanted to meet Jesus, but he was afraid Jesus wouldn't like him either. Just as Jesus was passing through town, he stopped at Matthew's tax collection booth, and Jesus told Matthew to come follow him. Matthew knew Jesus must know everything about him and even the awful things he had done. But Jesus still wanted him to follow him. You know what Matthew did? Exactly what Jesus asked him to. He followed Jesus. Matthew even had the courage to ask Jesus and all of his friends to come have dinner at his house. Jesus was able to see how special Matthew was even when everybody else couldn't. Matthew was overjoyed for the way that Jesus saw him, and it gave him the courage to be a different person. From that day on, Matthew followed Jesus everywhere. He saw all of the miracles that Jesus performed and wrote them all down in a special book so that everybody else could learn about it too. Jesus showed Matthew how special he was and that he was made in the image of God. We can learn from Matthew's story in knowing that Jesus changes how you see yourself. Just like knowing Jesus changed Matthew's life, it can change your life too. This month, as we learn that God created each of us in his image, we can make a difference just like Matthew did. With our verse, we are learning, I praise you because I am wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. This week, I want each of you to look for ways that you can make a difference. And check back in next week on another lesson on God's custom creations.